you have any tips for someone who wants to become a game dev? Uh, make games. <laughs> it's it's yeah. it's such a weird like tip, but it all it's so true. Like make small games and finish your yeah. game. Uh, it's, it feels like a cop out, but it's actually so true. It's it's because um, a lot of things that you look for when you like I think I think speaking from like someone who because I, I have no game development like uh, um. I didn't go to like game dev school or anything like that. I I learned most of the the stuff that I learned from like gen general like programming. You know, I went to like a regular, good old engineering school. Yay! Um, so I I was I kind of learned game dev by the side. And like when I when I got my role at my first game dev job, it was it was like a like we can teach you how how to finish stuff. And like the the important factor really was that I knew how to I knew about the production cycle, which is like how to finish something. Um, so like, even if you're the best at like making, you know, AI or making, you know, something specific, um, <clears throat> the fact that you know how this whole cycle works and you know, what's important yeah. there really makes a huge difference. Yeah. And, and I, and I, I did go, uh, to a game dev university and even then it's like, it's just like, it's so clear that like simply attending class is not enough you need to make games on the side with like <clears throat> hook up with your friends uh make some games together um it's it's super important to actually do stuff um actually make games um and i think what's really important is like to really just enjoy the process of like learning and doing it yeah because it's like making games is not a, a thing that or learning how to make games is not a thing that you you do for a while and then you've you've done it. It's actually like it's a learning process forever. So you will always, always, always be banging your head against walls trying to figure things out and getting better. And then when you finally get into the game industry, it doesn't get easier. It just gets harder because now people are like demanding more from you. And then as you get better at that, then you get even more responsibilities. You have to do even more, you know, so it's like it's it's this constant learning experience that doesn't get easier. So like I strongly recommend that you like it's good to have like a goal, but don't put everything into the goal. Just like enjoy what you're doing mm. right now with your friends. Enjoy the task that you're doing, like the 3D model or the programming. Just really, really enjoy what you're doing. Uh, and then do that for a long time. And then you'll get, you, you'll just, you'll be better after a while, yeah. you know? And if you're not a, like a yeah. programmer, you don't know how to like how to make the program and stuff like that. There are a bunch of tools to like, just for artists and like really, yeah. really find that medium, like or and own it, because like if you're an artist, and you don't know how to program, like just learn the few basics on how to like get into I don't know Unreal Engine or like Blueprint or you know something. Yeah. There are tools I can't remember them right now, but just like you know, maybe don't make a game with like a bunch of features. Make a game that's like a novel, you know, or something like that that fits your medium, like. So. But it's super. It's also super good to learn a little bit of the other. Yeah. Things. So like. And that's what's really cool with Unreal Engine with the blueprints is that you don't necessarily necessarily need to learn to type code, but you can start learning <clears throat> programming and like game logic through it through and through tutorials. And you don't need to be a master at it, but if you gain any level of understanding of like programming as an artist, I think that's going to help you as an artist. And same goes for programmers. Yeah. If you if you do any like three D modeling or some art, uh, you don't have to get good at all. But if you do any of it. Um, you're going to learn what that process is like and what the other people that you're working with have to do. And that's going to help you with your programming because now you understand what they're doing better so you can do better programming uh, to take that into consideration. So it's like, it's great. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. Def definitely definitely dabble. Dabble in a little bit of everything, but you can specialize in one thing if you want. Yeah. And there there are like visual scripting in Unity too. So if you're a Unity dev, you can you can kind of do the same thing. Yeah, that's that's such a such a good point because like I think all programmers like obviously they know like how three D models work and like how to make them and stuff like that. So it, and the same goes for everyone really. Um, so it's good to dabble in everything and like just get an understanding of like how everything works and how you put everything together. Yeah. Uh, as for like people asking like what's the best language to start with, um, pick whatever you so like. It, yeah, in my experience, it, do, it doesn't fucking doesn't matter. matter. No, because the the language, the language you use, so like one of the things that like I was really uh, good at it was that I could pick up any language and I could probably make something decent in it. You know, because because I, I just ended up learning a bunch of languages, and it, th there are pros and cons with the tools you use and and the languages you use. But ultimately, you can you can do a lot with pretty much any language. Uh, so so the language you use doesn't matter so much. What's really important is that you learn what you need to do with the language yeah. so like 
Yeah. So so just pick just so basically the short answer is just pick any tool, any language, and you'll start running into problems that you don't understand. And then you'll Google forever and you will learn how to overcome those problems. And then you've done the learning. That's that's the thing that you need to do. Mm. That's like the core. That's the valuable thing that you're going to carry with you, regardless of what language or tool you, you're, you're, you're using. It's like that like moment of learning that you just did. That's that's the valuable thing. Yeah. Don't let anyone tell you that like, no, you got to use this yeah. thing or whatever. Like find whatever you want to use. And yeah. you can make a game in anything. Even pen and paper is good. Practice. I remember I had to do, uh, I had to write, I had to write code in my university exam with pen and oh, paper. Oh yeah, I did that, that too. It's yeah. it's weird. It's kind of stupid, but at the same time, they, they're not like super picky about no. it. You know, they're not going to be like, your syntax was a little wrong. Because you would have you would have caught it in a compiler or with your text highlighting. Yeah. You know, so like they weren't too stupid about <clears throat> it. But like, yeah, it was kind of weird.